Behind the pictures and posts, there is, according to an insider, a calculated and very real risk. I believe Facebook's products harm children, stoke division, and weaken our democracy. Francis Hogan, a former project manager at Facebook, which owns Instagram and other platforms, now a whistleblower. Facebook has repeatedly misled the public about what its own research reveals about the safety of children. Sharing some of that internal research and data with Congress, Hogan accusing the internet giant of allowing, at times even amplifying, misinformation, hate speech, violence, and graphic content, targeting underage users, and using harmful and addictive algorithms. We spend more time on their platform, they make more money. The company arguing it's not profits but privacy laws that prevent sharing certain information and stressing they are working to make their platforms more transparent. We are going to launch supervisory tools for parents so that they can see and have greater um, visibility into what their kids are doing. Senator Ed Markey says that's not enough, delivering this direct message to Facebook co-founder Mark Zuckerberg. Your time of invading our privacy, promoting toxic content, and preying on children and teens is over. Several lawmakers now working on internet safety legislation, with providers, they say, unable and unwilling to regulate themselves. Jay Gray, NBC News, Washington. It has been a rough two days for Facebook. Yesterday, billions of users unable to access the company's platforms during a global outage that lasted several hours. Jay Gray, NBC News, Washington.